I can't believe I just did a whole entire thing about a book. What the heck? This thing is nasty. Okay, so this is kind of a weird thing that I would be doing on my YouTube channel, but I kind of thought it would be cool to review my book that I read. A Wrinkle in Time is the best book. This book's got everything that you want. It's got just a whole bunch of stuff that is just, I, I don't understand how to explain it, but it's got to witches, to um, exploring, to out of the comfort zone, out of all this like stuff that's re reality and it's just so cool to read it in this book that's kind it's kind of short i would say but let's review the characters okay charles wallace charles 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 wallace charles charles wallace charles i can't say it okay so charles wallace is one of the characters which i think is the most important character in the book and it's just so this book wouldn't be able to exist without Charles Wallace. He's not the main character, let's say, but he is one of the characters that like bring the book together. Charles Wallace is the person that is like not used to getting out of his comfort zone. He's not at all like social or anything. He only talks to his parents and loved ones and whatnot. But as soon as he like like starts meeting up with this boy, let's say, he starts meeting this other boy, and so Charles Wallace is like liking the boy. He's having fun and goes, hey. Now, Charles Wallace is a boy, don't get too uh, sidetracked, but he talks to this kid, and by the way, that kid is also in the book, and we're gonna get to him just now. And so, talks to this kid and he starts talking to him, and that's the first time that he's ever talked to anyone else outside his family. And then so it carries on to the next character. Okay, so the next character is Clarence. Clarence is the kind of person that you would want to meet. He's one of the nicest kids. He's the big shot in the school. He's the guy that is just out there and he wants to be friends with everyone kind of thing. And so that's the person I was talking about when Charles Walsh talked to talked for the first time to someone. Well, he talked to Clarence. Clarence, he's not really important in the book. Clarence is just there. He's not like doing anything much. He's just kind of like joining along with the ride. He's not the most important person, but at the end of the story, he kind of gets more important and it's kind of it's kind of in between what Clarence does. So you have to kind of figure out in the book what he's kind of like that. He, if I were to really properly explain, I would spoil the whole book, so I don't want to do that. Okay, so the next character is Meg Murray. Meg Murray is just one of the girls that is terrible in school. She's doesn't she's not that popular, she doesn't have any friends, and she's actually struggling in school really bad. And people make fun of her and just beat her down for that. And she tries to protect her brother, Meg Murray. Or Charles Wallace, sorry. <laughs> and so she has a brother, Meg, or sorry. She has a brother, twins, and a mom. They all live together, and she kind of sums it all up. She's, it's from her perspective, kind of. So, score, story carries on. Charles Wallace and Meg Murray are brother and sister. Them two, they kind of get along. I would say they get along very well, and some days they're just not. Let's not get along, kind of thing. But it's kind of cool, these two working together, going through this adventure. And what I find so cool about that when two brothers, or brother and sister, are just going through things together, I think it's 100% the greatest thing. Or when siblings are going through things, I think it's quite cool because they get to work it out with them too. She is trying to figure out what this whole entire thing is with the next character that is coming up that kind of just shows up and wonders what what is what is this person who is she and the whole entire family there is kind of wondering who is this person which again next character that's coming up just all this is just so cool and wraps it all up kind of thing okay so miss what's it is the next story or next character sorry i'm just all over the place pop from there so there to there 
Okay, so Mrs. Whatsit is the next character. Mrs. Whatsit is basically the character that kicks off the story, gets it going right away, which I love about this book. It's kind of, it's kind of long. It starts off with all the characters, what I'm doing right now. Like, it explains all the characters and kind of gets boring. But after, like, the first, I would say, 70 pages, it starts to get interesting. Which, that is kind of long for the book, which I thought was kind of weird. I don't know why, but it was very, very long at the beginning, which is the bad part about the book. It, it's very long in the beginning, which all you have to do is just get over everything with the characters and this and that, and like kind of sets up the book. Well, Mrs. Watson gets this whole entire idea that she's going to take Meg and Charles Wallace and uh, Calvin is at the end of everything when they all get ready to go on this adventure which is coming up and so when they're doing all this and everything's happening and they're trying to understand what is Miss What's It and you're probably wondering what is Miss What's It so Miss What's It is a witch which uh, it's kinda it's kinda hard to explain she's not a 100% witch she's kind of a a person that has that can do spells and this and that Basically, she has this whole entire plan with uh, Meg and Charles Wallace. So, Meg is kind of understanding what this mission is that Miss What's It wants her to do. Miss What's It, Miss What's It, <laughs> Miss What's It wants her to basically go find her father. Bang, big boom. Basically, the whole entire story, big giveaway here, is that they're trying to go find their father. Yeah. Trying to go find their father. That's about it. I didn't. When I first looked at the book, I thought, "Oh, it's gonna be a wrinkle in time." The book's name doesn't 100% match what the book is all about. But once this is all happening, and she understands that, okay, I gotta go find my father, and she has the answers. Miss What's It has all the answers to find her father and Charles Wall's father and. The twins' fathers, or twins' father, and so it's kind of cool. So the twins also, they're kind of just off to the side. Don't worry about the twins in the book. You'll hear them once in a while, but they're not 100% in the book. But Calvin comes in. Let's walk over. Okay, so Calvin is going to Meg's house. Meg is wondering, okay, what is Calvin doing at his house? It's kind of in the day and Calvin is there wondering is Meg alright? Plot twist, Meg and Charles Wallace were out going back from school or going home from school and basically Calvin was there to stop these bullies coming and hurting Meg and Charles Wallace and they're bullying Charles Wallace because he hasn't talked to any stranger and that's the first time that Charles Wallace talked to any stranger outside the family. Okay, back to the point. Calvin is wondering, okay, are you okay? And Meg goes, yeah, we're fine. You can kind of leave. So she doesn't want Charles Wallace there, but it's kind of like that. So once Meg is kind of like, no, 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 I want you to leave. But Charles Wallace comes along and says, why don't you just come, come and join us for dinner? And so Charles, that's when Charles Wallace invited him over and then they had this like good dinner. They started to be friends. This is when Mrs. Wetsit knew about Charles Wallace and Meg, but Calvin didn't know about Mrs. Wetsit. And then eventually Mrs. Wetsit meets Calvin. Calvin goes along with the adventure too and figures out, okay, they're trying to go find their father that they haven't met in since they were born. So, let's keep going. Okay, so, it is one of the main characters about this whole thing. Let's say he's not a character, he's more of a, like, smoke and going around and, like, basically tormenting people and believing that there's, they have to do nothing in life. They just have to be regular. That's what Mrs. What's It is also there for, to kind of 
stop this, stop being normal and this and that. So it is trying to make everyone stay the same and going through like motions to take people and kind of tell them, hey, you don't need to be different and everything and try to like, he's trying, it is trying to like put down people and it, it is not a good name. Isn't that, that's not a good name right now. It. Yeah. <laughs> I guess not. Okay. Yeah, I got my mom filming for me. This is uh, <laughs> great quality. I mean, great, yeah, mom's great quality, right? Great quality. Great, great quality. <laughs> okay. So, it is kind of like wondering how to keep people from doing different things. So, it is like the brain, and that's where they'll find their father. So, Meg and Calvin and, and Charles Wallace are trying to find their father in it. So, it is just, I can't say it very well. Like, I don't know, I just can't say it like fluently with saying, oh, hey, that's it over there. Or, What's up, it? It's just weird. I don't know why, but I don't like saying it. Okay, so it is kind of the like main story, it's like the bad guy in the story. And so they're going through this motion trying to get their father, and let's cut to the next thing, you know what I mean? Okay, so as you can see, all our homes here are kind of the same, and that's what the movie is based on until you get to one person which is us I would say that we are different we got a whole bunch of things in our yard we got a lot of things and everyone's got like kind of the same thing going just one bush in there and so we got you just have to be different this is what this whole entire books about being different and doing it's just different every that's the whole entire thing that's what it's about and trying to make everything different Let's just end it off with that. Okay, so now, oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you? Oh, that was a tripod that just slipped. Okay, so that's where this book is just key on. It's about being different, doing things, and just wondering about things, and just, that's what this book has. It's got everything. It's just so crazy, and how it actually kind of it, it kind of made me feel like wow I didn't even notice that being different is totally <laughs> different it makes your life a lot more funner it makes everything greater and I'm gonna have to end the video here thank you for liking subscribing comment down below if you got something to say and yes I'm doing an outro mm, let's go you're beautiful you're beautiful you're beautiful